Hi, I'm Adam Dennison, Vice President, Midsize Enterprise Services with the Channel Company. Uh, we are the end user portion of the Channel Company. We represent and, uh, and, and serve IT leaders within mid-market organizations. And I have one here with me today, one of my customers, Jason Frame. Jason is the CIO of Southern Nevada Health District. Jason, welcome. Welcome, thank you. Uh, before we get started, Jason, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your organization, what your role is there, how big your organization is. Excellent, so I'm the Chief Information Officer at Southern Nevada Health District. We're the local public health agency in the Las Vegas area, and we're also a federally qualified healthcare center. So we do the government regulatory stuff plus uh, primary care. Um, things that we do would be like the restaurant inspections, hotel room inspections, and then everything that was COVID, which we all remember from a couple years ago, we're the lead agency on all of that. What's the size of your organization in terms of employees, number of locations you have? Yep, we are uh, about 835 employees right now, eight locations, and we have 34 people on our IT team. Awesome, so you are right, right in the middle of the mid-market then? We are. Awesome, thank you. Um, so why don't we talk a little bit, everyone wants to know about AI, right? So this is gonna sit within the AI in Action newsroom. Um, there's been an awful lot of uh, hype and discussion around AI for a number of years now. Um, where do you see that fitting in or where does it fit in right now within Southern Nevada Health District? Where are you kind of dabbling with some areas of that? And where do you think that might, might play out in the, in the near future? Yeah, definitely. Um, we are looking at AI for a number of use cases. One is in our backend um, healthcare solutions, because I think that's where we can get our immediate ROI, improving our billing, making sure our, our notes are clean to help uh, you know make that billing go a lot smoother. That's like an immediate ROI for us. Another area that we're looking at it is in conversational AI. Uh, we don't really have a call center, but we have a main line that people call in. We're looking at replacing that with an AI um, bot to answer all the questions that come in, transform the people to the right location, and just really understand the context of what they're at, looking for and get into the right person. Got it, got it. Uh, when you're thinking about you know, AI initiatives and, and even any new emerging technologies, what's the process look like within your organization in terms of adoption there? Who, who has to be involved? What are some of the things that concerns that you have around new technologies, specifically AI? Yeah, for AI especially, it's, you know, I try not to be the one pushing it down a lot, but I am kind of giving these people some hints. But I wanted to really come up from the bottom, from our leadership team, from our, our end users saying, hey, how can we use something like this to improve what we're doing? Uh, the other day, it was great. I was in the lunchroom, I was eating up lunch, and I heard one of our nurses talking about how she uses ChatGPT every day. And I just said, that's awesome, that's great. Let's see how we can use it here. And so, you know, we tried to be a, a little holistically working with our groups. Um, all of our IT processes, we do that. We don't really just push stuff down. We always work with the groups to do that. And then we look for the right use cases. Because right now, everything says that they have AI. And everyone's pushing AI in all these different areas. But for us, being in our type of agency, we're not out there trying to do marketing, per se. We're not out there doing sales where AI is really big right now. So we have to look forward to the right use case because we're, we have limited resources. We have limited capacity on our staff. So we have to really reach out with our partners. Uh, we don't have the ability to do a lot of these big projects in-house. We have to reach out to our service providers and our vendors that we know and we can trust that are going to bring in these solutions to us. So how does how does that look in terms of when you'll when you'll lean on an MSP or when you'll lean internally? Well, you know, in terms of the you know, size of the organization, the expertise that you have. I think you know, for our size, most mid-market, we're not going to have that expertise to do a big AI project. Um, those are going to be left up to the really the big enterprise customers. You know, in Vegas, that's going to be up to the casinos. They're the ones who have the budget and the staff to do that. We don't, so we need to rely on partners for that and a number of other things. But there's just, with our staff, there's no way that we could do a big AI project by ourselves. Yep. And then just kind of in closing, when you're thinking about your solution providers and partners and MSPs, what's what's the best way for them to you know get, get your attention, stay in front of you, that, that type of thing? Yep. I mean, one of the ways that, you know, that we've really looked is through MES. Uh, we found some great partners there that we are working on our conversational AI project with one of the partners we found there. Uh, I think that's a great way of meeting uh, different vendors. Other way, I mean, I get probably 200 emails a day. I probably get 50, 60 cold calls a day. I rarely answer the phone. Um, if I do get an email, if it has like bullet points of this is the problems that we solve, this is our, you know, this is our bread basket. Those are the ones I'm going to read. If there's a lot of fluff or, you know, just say, hey, we can solve your problems. Those will go right in the trash. Get to the point, right? Yep. Perfect. Well, Jason, thank you so much for taking some time to, uh, to meet with us today. Um, for those of you that want to uh, learn some more, please join our AI in Action newsroom and uh, you'll get more, more information there. Thank you so much. Exactly. Thanks, Jason. Yep.